Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melly, and today we're actually going to be branching out a little bit and I thought it would be a good idea to try micro crocheting. I did talk about it in my last vlog, vlog number 11. I'll put it right up here if you guys want to watch it or if you missed it, but I have all the stuff in front of me that I want to talk about. I also kind of want to do a little micro crocheting on my live today, which um, by the way, I do lives Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. CST just in case you're interested in watching those or like catching them if you're able to. Let me go ahead and show you everything that I have for this video. So I went ahead and bought this specific brand. It's called Aunt Lydia's Crochet Thread. This one specifically is zero weight and I am kind of nervous. This one's a little bit thinner than the other ones that I have here. This one is in the color Monet Multi. It's very pretty as you can see. It has a lot of blues and pinks and purples. There's some yellow in there as well. Very excited to try that. It is a little bit thinner than these other ones that I have here. Let me go ahead and show them to you guys. We have this cute little blue one in warm teal. We have this pretty little pink one in warm rose. We have a purple one in plum. And then we have these other three that I've already kind of took the packaging off. So I don't know what they're called, but I did have them on my recent vlog. So the names are on there. I just don't have them with me. I already threw away the sleeves on them, but I did use them to make this little guy right here. It's a cute little butterfly, but as you can see, it's a little holy because the hook was too big for this type of specific yarn thread. This was like my first attempt, but micro crocheting is so much smaller than this. This is like not micro crocheting. So I figured I'd start off the video by showing you guys my little crappy attempt at micro crocheting or like, you know, a little bit bigger than micro crocheting and then kind of actually show you guys the hooks that I'm going to be using, which came in from Amazon. I ended up buying three. I know the girl that does micro crocheting, she uses the Aunt Lydia's. I'm not sure if it was the zero weight or the one weight, but I bought the one weight the most because I don't think I'll be able to work with the zero weight. I didn't know this one was zero weight, but we have a zero weight in case I want to feel a little sassy and see if I can crochet with that. A little confident there. I did buy a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook, a 2.0 millimeter crochet hook, and a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook. So the girl normally uses a 1.5. I don't know if we're gonna be that confident in being able to do a 1.5. I will probably start off with a two and go from there because I'm not sure if the 1.5 is even visible to my eyes. Like that hook is so tiny guys. Look how tiny that hook is. You can't even see the hook. So we have those three. The pattern that I will be using, which is the same little butterfly pattern, I kind of want to see if I can make it any smaller. The pattern, well, it's not even a butterfly. It's a moth. I keep calling it a butterfly, but it is a moth. It's called Halen the Moth, and it's by Knotted Cat. Look how adorable. So cute. She recently released this, I would say within the last week or so. I jumped on the bandwagon when I saw it. I knew that was the thing. I was like, I think this would be easy to micro crochet. So we'll see. There are different parts, but it's a no sew moth. You end up sewing all of the wings within the rounds. I think that'll be the easiest instead of like trying to sew it on because I don't have a thin needle like that. So I only have thick needles to sew on body parts. So I'm happy that it's no sew. I am about to go on live. I don't know if I even showed you guys the time. It is 7.55 p.m. and it's Thursday, so I do lives at 8 p.m. So I will definitely be working on this on live. I'm excited and kind of nervous at the same time, but we'll see how it turns out. And I'll probably turn my camera on for a little bit to kind of show you the progress and kind of show my live chat just um, so you guys can say hi to the vlog. So I'm excited about this. Hopefully it goes as planned and we'll see if I can micro crochet. If not, then this is a flop, but hopefully it does turn out so I can have a video for Saturday. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried micro crocheting. I would love to know. And if you love it, if you hate it, last time I tried, my hands were cramping. So I you know, we're going to try it again and see if it works out. Even with this little moth, my hands were already cramping. Fingers crossed I can get through it this time with a smaller hook. Like I said, I think I'm going to use a 2.0 hook with 
the weight one yarn. We'll see how that turns out. If it ends up getting a little too holy, then I will go down to the 1.5. Maybe I should have gotten the 1.75 if there was one. I don't know if there was. But this is what we're working with. We'll see. I will be back to give you guys an update. <laughs> Hey guys, so I have a quick update for you guys. I did end up making several uh, little wings and it's because chat over here messed me up. I'm just kidding. But I ended up making two identical wings, but I feel like one of them is still a little bit smaller. And I think it's because I'm starting to learn like my tension on a 1.5. That's another update because I started off with what size is this? I told you guys I started off with a 2.0 millimeter crochet hook and then I ended up going to a 1.5. So let me show you the 2.0. This is what I made with a 2.0. It's pretty small, but it's not as small as I wanted to go. And Stephanie, which is one of my mods here, she ended up saying, girl, you need to go with a 1.5. So I did that and I made this little guy, but I missed a row and I blame chat for it. I blame them. And then I ended up making two more. And like I said, one's a little bit smaller than the other. Let me see if it'll focus. There you go. One's a little bit smaller than the other because I'm learning my tension and it's coming along pretty good. I wanted to show the chat for you guys because they are saying hi. And let me go ahead and spin you guys around so you guys can see yourselves on here. But yeah, there you guys go right there. Oh, Brittany said Melly's doing so good micro crocheting. Y'all are so sweet. Not her blaming us. Yes, I blame y'all. <laughs> Nicole, you're a distraction, ma'am. <laughs> but yeah, here you guys go right here. But yeah, that is it. That is the update for now. I'm going to go back to just talking to you guys on live and thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll be back for, an, for another update later, okay? Hey guys, quick update. So it is the next day. It's Friday, March 29th. It's 5.33 p.m. And um, I just wanted to show you everything else that we made on the live. I ended up making these large moth wings. So they sit directly behind the little wings, which I told you my tension has been getting better, which is awesome. So we have the two little wings. They sit behind the big wings, so it'll kind of be like that. And then we have these two, so I'm excited. They're tiny compared to these big wings. Look how much smaller they are. Not by much, but it is um, the 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm gonna continue going. I now need this cream color to make the body of the moth, and I'm gonna have to find my crochet hook. I think it's over here, actually. Yes, it is. Here it goes. So we're gonna do that. Um, I am going to stay on here real quickly, just promoting myself. Self-promotion here for my Etsy. I did put a bunch of sewing sticks on my Etsy page. My Etsy is Melly Inspired Crochet. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can find it easily in the description. I have so many sewing sticks that I made. I think it's over 20. Right when five o'clock hit, the first order was from Presley. I'm so happy. Like, I didn't think I was gonna get an order that fast, you know, and I ended up getting one to where it just made my day so thank you so much Presley if you watch my videos girl I really appreciate it let me go ahead and show you where I keep them and literally all the sewing sticks so here are all the sewing sticks that I made for like the launch today they are all so cute we have like bunnies foxes coffee mugs we just have a variety of just different ones I'll hold up a couple just to show you look at all those so we have these we have these here are some more and here are the last bit they're literally packaged and ready to go i keep them in this bin so whenever someone does order, they're all just sitting in here. I just grab them and 
I can package them up for everybody. So very excited. Uh, thank you so much for whoever does end up ordering. I think we just may have gotten another one. There is an Etsy notification right there. Let me take a look real quick since I'm on here. False alarm. Someone just favorited my shop, but still... I am so grateful. Thank you guys so much. And I'm excited to see what others will sell today. I'll keep you guys updated if any others sell while I'm still finishing up this video. For now, let's go ahead and get into this color and get to the body. I'm excited to see how little this is going to turn out because I don't know. Maybe it's my tension, but it doesn't seem too much smaller. I mean, it seems smaller, but it doesn't seem... I would have thought it would have been like the big wings would have been like this big. You know, we will see how it turns out. I will keep you guys updated. Right now, I'm just currently watching a studio vlog. All right, I'll be back. I wanted to come on here and show you guys just a little bit of me, like, literally trying to micro crochet. Like, this thing is tiny, guys. Like, this is just me a single crocheting across. So I don't have to, like, focus on what I'm doing. So that's why I figured, let me just hop on and show them. Literally, look at this, guys. That is the body. Do you see the little bobbles? <laughs> Those are the little feet. This is the moth body working up. It's still kind of low-key, looks kind of holy. Don't know what that's about when, I don't know, maybe I'm using the wrong thread. Maybe I should have used the zero weight yarn instead of the one. We're not stopping now. We're going to continue. I think I'm going to turn you guys the other way and then I'm just going to show my hands so you can literally see me crocheting how tiny. Literally, wasn't that crazy? Look how little this is. I don't think it was focusing, so I figured I would show you guys on here. It's so tiny. It's like as small as like the finger, my fingertip. But yeah, I'm going to continue working this cute little body up. And then before I start um, crocheting the wings on, I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, I feel like I'm giving you guys updates too on my sewing sticks since they did launch today on my Etsy. But we just sold the cute little elephant with the little daisy on top the second stick being a daisy as well so excited about that that one was like my favorite of all time so i'm happy it's going to a new home and they're going to be used i'll keep you guys updated to see if any more sell today but that's what we have so far two o'clock and it is six o'clock so two cells within the hour um i call that a win <laughs> Okay guys, so we have an update on the sewing sticks. It looks like I just sold the minty blue bunny set. Let me show you which one I'm talking about. This one right here. And then we also sold this cute little bunny in the red dress. Yes. And it has a little butterfly as a second stick. Oh my gosh. So we sold all four of those and it is only 6.15 p.m. So very, very exciting. I cannot thank everybody who purchases for me. Like it really makes my heart happy. You guys are making my entire week. So or weekend because I know it's Friday. But for me, it's the start of my week because tomorrow I work. I work from Saturday to Monday. So it feels like the beginning of my week. 
technically. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Right now, I'm about to add the little wings. So I'll come back and show you guys what that looks like. But look how small the little body is turning out. And I'll show you guys the side-by-side -side later from the first butterfly that I made or moth versus this one. Let me add the wings and I'll be right back to show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so quick update. We have one layer of wings on, which are the tinier ones, which go behind the bigger wings. Look at how cute that is. This cute little moth. Adorable. So now let me work up until I get these on and I'll be back to show you that. Okay, this is the last update that I'm going to be giving until I finish the moth. I went ahead and attached the itty bitty well they're a little bit bigger but they're still itty bitty to me itty bitty little wings these are the bottom wings of them can you focus please there you go the bottom wings and then the top wings and they kind of spread to the side like that they're so cute and all his little nubby legs very excited we're gonna close up the top and then make the antennas as well so i will show you guys the end result here shortly Okay guys, so I am finally done. Let me show you the big one that I made first. This is the big one that I made. I think this was using a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook. Spread his little wings out. You know, he's a little holy, but he's cute. And then we have dun -dun -dun -dun, the tiny one got both of its little antennas we have a big old wings in the back as well as the smaller ones I didn't have any safety eyes that would fit him so I embroidered the eyes they look a little creepy but it's okay look at the size difference Did I do any better? Did I do it justice? This is a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. This one on this side is a 2.75. I did use the varying colors differently. And I used six millimeter safety eyes on this 2.75. That's what I got using the one weight yarn from Aunt Lydia's and using a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. I think he came out okay. I don't think he is perfect. That was my first time micro crocheting, so I can't be too harsh on myself. I think he can he turned out really cute. So this is my own. I can definitely add a little keychain to it to make it my own personal stitch marker. Now, am I going to stick to crocheting what I normally crochet in with a five millimeter crochet hook? Yes, yes I am. I can never go to micro crocheting full time. This is something that I would do just, I guess if I'm bored, I don't know, because it cramps up my hands so bad. I am going to end up using some more of that yarn. If you guys have any like suggestions on what I should micro crochet next, I would love to know in the comments. I was thinking maybe like an axolotl or something. Wouldn't that be cute? But no, I am not going to be doing this full time. I really do admire the people who do micro crocheting hats off to you guys because my hands could never like my hands hurt so much after this little itty bitty baby you know I'm not doing anymore. Not for a little bit. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed going live with you guys and y'all seeing me like crochet air because <laughs> the the freaking I was gonna say yarn but the thread literally matched my shirt you know what I mean it's so tiny let's see how big this is I have my ruler right here so it is just a little over an inch tall is that small for you guys let me know those who micro crochet I'm sure you guys are doing like half an inch and I'm over here at one with a bulky guy at 1.1 inch he's a cutie he's a cutie well I think we'll keep if you like this video and you like to see more of me please subscribe please like and comment below how about you guys leave a butterfly I know this is a moth but leave a butterfly down below if you made it till the end of the video I 
love to see all of your little butterflies down there and thank you guys again so much for all those who purchased my sewing sticks i really do appreciate it thank you guys for joining every time for the live you guys literally make my day literally on the weekend whenever i go to work i just can't wait until tuesday to do my live with you guys because that is like my relaxation time we're gonna be market prepping so starting tuesday i'm letting you guys know we are going to market prep some stuff my next vlog is gonna be all about market prepping this weekend i'll probably vlog just a little bit because i am planning on market prepping and i did end up buying cameron's cute creations little pricing tool so i am definitely gonna be using that i'm gonna use it this weekend i gotta get it on my laptop i have it on my phone so i'm excited about that to be weighing polyfill i've never weighed that in my life um like i said i will be getting a new chair so i'm excited it comes on tuesday hopefully it's up before the live on tuesday and then you guys can see me in a brand new chair it'll probably be a little bit higher that's the reason why i got a new chair because my desk sits a little too high up that is going to be the end of this video i appreciate you guys so much and thanks for watching i will see you guys in my next video or on my next live inspires you guys keep inspiring and i'll see you guys bye